Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review. I'm here today to talk about Black History Month. The month that is a celebration of my people. Because I am a black man and everything. And it's about all our accomplishments, um, all the oppression that we have gone through over like centuries um, of living in like America and stuff like that. So I'm here today to talk to you about the real reason why the wb kids canceled static shock so i've always wondered why you know the show got canceled i know dwayne mcduffie said that when they gave richie powers in a costume that that brought in more viewers and they was able to get one extra season out of it so basically what that means is that when <laughs> like, they planned on canceling the show, but then when they got like, you know, a new hero who just happens to be white, <laughs> no, the show got like more ratings and they got an extra season. But that's not what, but I'm here to talk about why the show got canceled. So Phil Lamar, who is the voice of static virgil and stuff he was on a podcast recently in a couple of days i'll link it below and he finally revealed how, why the show got canceled now the show was very popular extremely popular very high ratings for that of uh, um, wb kids and stuff and it all had to do with toy merch not uh, kind of similar to what happened to Young Justice, but not really. See, Young Justice got to um toys, but they didn't sell that well, and so they canceled it after two seasons. Static Shock got no toys. See, what happened was, as popular as the show was, when they went to the toy company to like you know make some toys and this and that. The toy company basically told them they don't see a market for this merchandise and everything. Meaning that they don't believe that non-black people will be willing to buy a black superhero toy. Because you know how the late 90s and early 2000s was back then. And so, and it shouldn't even have been that way because it was the late 90s and early 2000s. But Hollywood was still the way Hollywood was and all these companies were still the way they were. And so that's what it came down to. Because the WB couldn't make no extra money off of toy merch, they just decided to cancel the show altogether. That is really messed up. You know, I don't understand this whole mindset. And it's not just people talking out their butt or bringing up race and stuff like that. This is how it really is. Back in Star Trek in the 1960s, they had a very diverse cast. And the executives were all like, you know, I don't know about this. You have a woman as the first officer sitting in the front. No man's going to want to see that. You got a black woman at, on your show. So they put her in the back. As for the first officer, they just got rid of her all completely. They had an Asian dude in the front um, of like, you know, the bridge and they didn't feel cool about that. And it was just terrible how things were because they didn't think a white audience would connect to that. And that's how TV has always been. It's been that way. Like it, it started to change in the last 10 years. But this is why, you know, you see things the way you do. This is why whenever they cast black people on shows, it's always like a light skinned black person because they don't think that, you know, a white audience want to see a dark colored skinned person and stuff. And it's crappy that the show got canceled all because the toy company didn't want to make the toys. That is just so racist of them and stuff. And to tell you the truth, Static still doesn't get no love in the toy department. There are only two static toys out. McFarlane has one and Funko Pop has one. I think the Funko Pop one might probably be out of sale to get a little more expensive, but both of them are based off of the newer um, comic books with his newer outfit as an adult. That like blue and yellow ugly outfit that they gave him that I do not like. And I want a static toy so bad, but I don't want this. I went and got the Funko Pop, so I'm like, you know, might as well get something. But I couldn't see myself getting the McFarlane one. I just couldn't. I hate that costume so much. 
they have not made any toys based on the um the other comic costumes and the comic costumes are amazing they haven't made none off the show cart um the this, this, this show and that's amazing they've just now recently started to tap into that d um cau because they've done i don't know what toy company it is but they've done like batman the animated series they're now touching on batman the new adventures and you know i've seen toys in the past of like justice league and superman and stuff like that but if this is how they're starting off going from the very beginning which is the batman series and working their way up static has a very long way and i don't understand why all these toy companies aren't making his merch there's so many batman and superman toys heck there are so many different versions of Batman and Superman. There's um the one where it's like the Batman metal and everything. And the one where he's, I forget what it's called, Red Death or something like that, where he has the flash powers. Why don't they just make the merch and make variants of all the different costumes and stuff? That stuff will sell. I don't understand people's mindset, how they can be so stuck in the old days. Happy Black History Month, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.